Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be taking a closer look into my PC's cooling system. This video was originally about me installing these Noctua fans, but since then, I decided to try and find out the impact case fans have on cooling. So before we begin, I have a quick message from the sponsor of today's video, Chef's Temp. This is the Final Touch X10 from Chef's Temp. It's a thermometer that has won the Red Dot Design Award for 2022. It's also NSF certified and it comes with a bunch of amazing features packed right in. For example, it has a big backlit display making it easy to read. The probe rotates up to 270 degrees. It has an auto rotating display. It's rated IP67 waterproof for up to one meter of water. It has a motion activated wake up mode, 3000 hours of battery life, which will last you around three to five years includes a magnetic back, and the most important feature, a one second read time. To show you guys a use case scenario, over here we have some muffins baking, and all we have to do is stick it in, and we get our temperature just like that. So if you guys are interested, go check out the link in the description below. I'll also include a link to their website so you can go check out their other products. Now, let's return back to the video. To begin, I thought it would be appropriate to first lay out the experimental setup. This includes my PC with the various case fan and side panel configurations, which I'll get into more detail later on. The specs of this PC are the following. The benchmark I'll be using is Unigen Superposition. This benchmark mainly utilizes the GPU, not so much the CPU, but I decided to use it either way since my CPU cooler at the time was not adequate enough to keep the computer from shutting off during an intense CPU utilization. But I still decided to include data on the CPU temperature using Core Temp. The sound meter mobile app will be used to collect data on the loudness of the sound. The phone will be placed 10 centimeters away from the front of the case as well. And it should be said that all other data points will be collected from the Unigen superposition results. Now, we'll get into each configuration and its derivatives. So to begin, we will start with my current fan setup, which is currently these Ego fans that I bought back in 2018. They're not anything special, I'll have these specifications show up on the screen. Currently, they are very dusty, and I kept them in the same condition for the benchmark. However, I used the same configuration again for my next test, but this time the dust was removed from the fans. There are four of them in total all around the case, two of them serving as an in and two of them serving as an out. This creates neutral or slightly negative pressure, since the filter at the front uh, makes it a bit difficult for the fans to pull in air. Also, the RGB was kept off during the test. For this scenario, quite simply enough, I tested the performance without any fans on the case. I also happened to do two versions of this test, one with and without the side panel attached to the case. We can finally move on to the Noctua fans mentioned earlier in the video. I bought three 140mm and a single 120mm variant that supports 3000 RPM. Both unboxings are pretty much the same. They come with these very shiny silver looking screws that look really nice. But now it's time that I install these into my case. To do so, I will be placing two 140mm fans at the front to serve as intake fans. The 120mm fan will be placed at the rear and the remaining 140 at the top. Both will serve as an exhaust. All the fans will be connected directly to the motherboard, making it easy to adjust airflow in the BIOS. The experimental setup is not much different from the first test with the Ego fans. However, the performance gap is certainly there on paper. Each 120mm Noctua fan is capable of about 110 CFM, and each 140mm Noctua fan is capable of about 160 CFM. And the fans are positioned out to create positive pressure. This means more fresh air is coming in through the fans than escaping out through the fans. Positive pressure theoretically helps your PC stay cooler and decreases the amount of dust entering your PC. Also, when I first turned on the PC, the default setting was set to the max RPM, and I included it as a part of the test. So, let's see how it does in practice. There will be four tests, two of which will have the side panel on, and further differentiated by the fan's top speed versus a custom fan curve. And the two other tests will have the side panel off, running at full speed versus a custom fan curve. I included a custom fan curve because the max RPM made the fans insanely loud, which didn't seem like something people would take advantage of if your PC was right next to you. So there we have our results, and here's what we can make out of it. You'll notice that the score from Unigen Superposition is highly correlated with the GPU's temps. If the GPU's temps are low, the score is usually higher. We see the worst results for the setup with no case fans and the side panel on. However, we improve both temps 
and our score with the side panel off, and this is probably the most significant finding in all of this, but it does highly depend on your components, since different cooling solutions for GPUs and CPUs circulate air in different ways. For example, the 3070 in the system would eject warm air out through the front, and having no side panel allows the GPU to create more distance with the warm air, so it can avoid suffocating itself. However, it should be noted that by having the side panel off, you are inviting a lot more dust into your PC. Aside from that, the noise level are all around 30 decibels, except for the Noctua fans running at 3000 RPM. I believe this is in part due to the 3070 creating a lot of noise itself, which could be why it seems the noise level doesn't change as much, because it overpowers the case fans sound level. Nonetheless, the Noctua fans with the custom fan curve provide the best service overall, and I believe it justifies the purchase of case fans, but with these Noctua fans, we see a diminishing return on investment at 3000 RPM. If you'd get the bulk of the benefit by purchasing fans that go up to 2000 RPM, that way you can save yourself some money to invest in other places. That's it for the conclusion, I wanted to mention a few of the errors in this experiment, one of which I touched on lightly before about the GPU being very loud, which pretty much ruins the audio test. I didn't realize this when I first recorded these results almost eight months ago now. Uh, another thing is the room temperature, which I wasn't sure what it was during the test because I just simply didn't have uh, any tools to measure it with. And finally, the test with the clean versus dusty Ego fans provided some odd results. I looked into the Unigen superposition results and the GPU was sitting at a higher initial temperature before the test. But that's going to end it for this video. If you guys have done any testing of your own, let me know the results in the comment section below. It's always good to compare. And I hope to see you all in the following video. Bye for now.